just the other day, I received um, my grandfather's 16 millimeter camera that someone had had in their closet for 50 years. To think about the fact that my grandfather was using this camera and here I am actually in this industry um, kind of resonated for me. See, I can look at you looking at me. Chicago's my home. Chicago will always be my home. And our family's been here for four generations. Madison and Wells is the corner where my great-grandfather came and sold newspapers as a young boy who spoke no English and came from Russia. And the grit and determination and tenacity that he had to exhibit to get through that resonates for me. And that's why we named the company Madison Wells Media. That's my great-grandfather, Nicholas. I think growing up as the youngest of five, you need to get your voice heard. And I think all of those things that I learned growing up became very handy as a producer. There's a variety of ways that you can look at telling stories. Journey with me to the sun. I think the beauty of the way we're organized at Madison Wells Media is that we can help creators think about the ways in which that story can get told. About five years ago, I was starting to wonder where this was all headed and it was getting really hard to be in the independent world in film and distribution was changing and it was a little discouraging. And then I had the opportunity to try virtual reality and see what people were doing with this new technology and that absolutely exploded my um, thinking in really great ways and allowed me to see how storytelling and technology were really starting to come together. There's so many different mediums and ways for storytelling to happen and so that's why our company Madison Wells Media is agnostic in the sense that a story can come in any way and can be told in a variety of ways. Before, people were really siloed. If you were a filmmaker, you were in the film world, and if you did TV, you did TV, and if you were in theater, you only did theater. But now, people can cross those borders so easily, and as a company, Madison Wells Media is organized around creators and storytellers, and things can come into our system in a variety of ways. People may have a script that they think you know, is a great film, and maybe that gets developed into a film. Maybe we look at it and say, hey, have you thought about doing it as short digital content? Have you thought about maybe doing a podcast first and then developing it out? So there's a variety of ways that you can look at telling stories, and I think the beauty of the way we're organized at Madison Wells Media is that we can help creators think about the ways in which that story can get told, whether it's the way they originally envisioned it or maybe helping people think about different ways to tell the story using technology or other platforms. I think being nimble and being flexible about how your content moves is really the way to win in the world today. Things are changing so fast, technology is changing so fast, that it can become very difficult if you're too um, set in a certain way. Um, film distribution is changing radically, the TV landscape is changing radically, new things are popping up, podcasts have suddenly gained a huge amount of notoriety. Um, so I think the fact that we can look at stories in a variety of ways helps us really be faster, more nimble, um, and a more interesting place to work. I am proud of a lot of the stuff that I've been lucky enough to be involved with. There's a small documentary I did 26 years ago that I'm as proud of as I am Einstein or Hell or High Water or our show Red Roses Green Gold. Every project, I think, because you spend so much time, has its own place in your heart. We're actually really optimistic about what we're building and the opportunity to be a place where creators really can not only create what they want to do, but also find the ability to 
grow their own brand and their own ability to make money on our platform. I lit out from Reno, I was trailed by 20 hounds. Didn't get to sleep that night till the morning came around. Said I would run, but I take my time. A friend of the devil is a friend of mine. If I get home before daylight, just might get some sleep.